nutrition insemination in pigs is widely practiced in Western Europe and the U.S. It was introduced many decades ago to improve reproduction and genes of pigs, but few pig farmers in Uganda practice it. Artificial insemination is the deliberate introduction of semen into a female pig's uterus for the purpose of achieving a pregnancy. It is useful in getting sprayer genes in pigs, especially when compared to natural mating. It's not a new technology, and what we've been doing in Vetline Services is to make sure that we customize it to our environment here in Uganda. Dr. Onari Kaure is a pig farmer who specializes in pig insemination while studying veterinary medicine at the university. Dr. Kaure is very familiar with the challenges that farmers in the area go through, especially during breeding. He put the knowledge he acquired in university to help solve his society's problems. Artificial insemination offers uh, lots of advantages and internationally it is a recommended method for breeding pigs. To start with, the semen is collected from the high quality boar breeds and stored. The process in pigs is quite different from the one done in direct cattle. Dr. No, pigs is a different case because in pigs we use what we call fresh semen. Uh, what we mean by fresh semen, this semen is kept for a period of like three to five days. Mm? And after that, it is considered expired. Yet in cattle, Semen is maintained in uh, liquid nitrogen, so it is able to keep for as long as you have liquid nitrogen in the container. The so rule says the technology is only effective when the pigs are on it. We consider also things like the age, we consider things like the size. So the pig to receive artificial insemination, it must be of the right size, it must be of the right age, and it must be on heat. After the semen is collected, it is stored in a mobile freezer and carefully warmed before it is inserted into the soil. Uh, it's very susceptible. The sperms die very fast if you subject them to a very low temperature. So we target to keep maintaining a temperature of around 15 to 18. So much as that temperature is relatively low, but the sperms also keep active. The pig is tied with a rope before it's inseminated. <coughs> A long plastic artificial insemination catheter is inserted into the female pig for insemination. I say with artificial insemination, it offers, it comes in as assistance in cases where you are having challenges. He says artificial insemination provides an economic mean for livestock breeders to improve their herds on the farm. So when the farmer calls for AI, is we deliver good quality and uh, good quality semen for them to get the best results. It's cost effective for farmers who have many female pigs but few boars. The female pigs known as sows usually go on heat around the same period. You are also assured of good genetics because the way you, we, we do it is we carry the semen and go to where the pig is. So if you are interested in a particular breed with AI, it is only the semen that is going to come. You don't transport the whole animal. The technology was initially resisted by the locals who described it as unreliable. Artificial insemination was so common in cows, but according to Dr. Kaure, now it's applicable to pigs, and it's another way of multiplying the number of pigs on your farm. Let's say even if you have a male, it is very hard to keep the pace, the, the, the rate at which you'll be recruiting females, it's not the same rate you are going to keep recruit the males, but you need to also appreciate that whenever you are bringing in a live animal on the farm, you are posing a risk. Dr. Kaure believes this technology will go a long way in improving the quality of pigs in Uganda if it's widely adopted by farmers. Ivan Chimuchigozi, NTV.